are you in every way, woman? Welcome back. So I'm here with Jacqueline. Jacqueline, you sent us an email. And in that email, you said that women over 40 are being ignored by the media. Why did you feel you had to send us that email? Why did you have to take the time to write it? Well, it's true because most fashion, fashion ads and media focuses on youth, youth, youth. Mm -hmm. So we, we kind of age out of glamour at 35. Where if, if we're being advertised to, it's about the, the appliances and the SUVs and the laundry detergent. But a lot of us, when we come of age, when I say you hit your 30s and your 40s and in your stride, this is when you want to really express yourself. Okay. And then we're looking for representation, and we, we don't see it as often as I think we would like to. Okay, so but why did you have to send me the email? Because I know you watched the footage we did um, tell them why we created the show. And when I read the email, I was like, oh, she gets it. <laughs> so, but why did you take the time to write me the email? What were you going through? What were you thinking? Well, I mean, I personally freelance as a fashion model. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, because I'm 45, I don't get to do fashion pictures unless mm -hmm. I do them on my own, which I find absurd because I love clothes and mm -hmm. I love the artistry of clothes and I love to express myself through clothes. I'm like, how come I can't see someone who looks like me in the clothing app? Okay, so when you wrote the email, mm -hmm. what was going through your mind? Because you told me, you said, I'm fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Well, we all are fabulous. Look at you. Look at what you're wearing. I mean, this is amazing. We need representation. So, for example, uh, Dr. Ben Berry from Cambridge University did an entire study on this, 2,500 American and Canadian women. And he showed them fashion ads with different models in the same Diane von Fustenberg wrap dress, yes. which she's famous the for. The famous wrap dress, yes. which I love. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but the models was the classic 19-year-old, mm -hmm. very thin Caucasian model. And then he had an older model. He had a plus size model. He had an mm -hmm. uh, ethnic model. Mm -hmm. And he found that when the women looked at these ads, and they're all the same with the beautiful hair and the beautiful makeup, the artistry is the same. When they looked at these ads, their desire to buy the garment went up 200 to 300% if they saw a model that somehow represented them. And he said the fashion industry, th this is his conclusion, fashion industry has it all wrong. It says fashion industry thinks we want to be skinnier, younger versions of ourselves. So how do you feel when you see those ads and you know, you know what, I'd rather see some, another woman that represent my age. Yes. Yeah. You, you tell me you're fabulous, but how do you feel? How does it make you feel when you see another woman that's 19 years old, but you know really you're trying to advertise to a 40-year-old woman? Well, what I mean, goes the, to you? the 19-year-old is beautiful. I can acknowledge her for yes. that. But when I see them put Nicole Kidman, who is much closer to my age, mm -hmm. in the ad, I go, ooh, look, that's kind of what I would look like in those and clothes. And does it make you want to go out yeah. and, because you're being representative? So you feel like yeah. you're not being represented? No, it's, it's not very, it's, it's getting better, but it's not very common at this point. Right now, a, a celebrity who's older is starting to appear, and a supermodel who's older is starting to appear. As women, what can we do? Well, we can call for it. This research study called for it. Um, the Dove ads, mm -hmm. there was this massive consumer increase in Dove when they showed the everyday the real, woman. Yeah, the yes. real woman. And I think what's happening is the more that women voice and clamor for this, the more brands will take notice and go, maybe we should include them. Well, you know, as women, we control the pocketbook. We do. We control what comes <laughs> in and out the house we because do. we do the shopping, we, do. we make the list, and we actually we go out and buy it. So kind of the, the um, responsibility of shiftiness can fall on the woman. She doesn't have to buy these products. So as again, as a woman in her 40s, I don't feel like, oh, I'm gonna go buy that because some 19 year old is wearing it. We so, can't relate to her because that's your daughter's age. Exactly. And and so I could see. And you've been there and done that. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I, I can see basically women, especially above 40, they're so, looking at their granddaughter. Exactly. So, <laughs> so if you had an opportunity yeah. to talk to an advertising agency about, I'm over 40, mm -hmm. I'm fabulous, I want to be represented, represented. Mm -hmm. what would you say to them? You know, I would say it's real easy to make a young girl look amazing in a photograph in a dress mm -hmm. because she has, she has no curves, she has no figure, she has perfect skin. But, but what, and, what about you? 
And I would say, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm beautiful, I'm mature, I'm wise, and I now want to express myself through garments that I can afford to buy, which I could not afford to buy when I was 20. So the designers, now I can go buy them, but I can't see in the ads or on the runways, how would I look in that dress? Tom Ford, you know Tom Ford. I know who Tom Ford he is. He did an entire runway show with wi women and actresses of all ages, and he had them sauntering out in the clothes, and, and that's the moment I fell in love with Tom Ford. Perfect. Because he was talking to me. Okay, well thank you very much <laughs> for uh, sharing your experience about being yeah. over 40 and fabulous. And don't go away, we'll be right back with more. Independent, Thank you. no, I'm it. It's no surprise. Hard working, 24-7, man.